Miss Jasleen Coordinator IQAC. It's a pleasure to have you here today. I welcome our esteemed faculty members for their presence here. I would like to welcome all participants and all the students of UG department and request for your kind cooperation throughout the program. I hope that today inspire ideas and discussions around the way that we can make our world a better place. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sarita. Consist of water. There was a very ex uh, interesting experiment which was held on water. What happened in this was two glass tumblers were kept in separate rooms and in one room some words like Adolf Hitler, war, you make me sick, such kinds of words were spoken while in the other room words like thank you, love, appreciation, admiration were spoken. And you can see clearly in the pictures how the first uh, glass tumbler, the water molecules of the first glass tumbler look like while the second picture, show, while picture below it shows you how the water molecules turn uh, in the second glass tumbler. This tells us that water carries memory and there is something very mystical about it. So uh, before I begin with how uh, water is getting affected, I, I'd like to share a story. A girl wakes up at 6 a.m. and she starts walking. After four to five hours, she reaches a place where there is a stream of water. She fills her two jerry cans with water rests for a little while and then begins her journey back home. She's, ba she's walking back home and the sun is scorching. It's literally hot. She reaches home, eats her lunch, talks to her brothers about what they learned at school because obviously she can't go to school and then she sleeps and the same cycle repeats again every day. This is not just a normal girl. It is not a hypothetical story. This is the story of a girl called Aisha who lives in Ethiopia and is 13 years old. And it's not just about her. There are many other people of all castes, genders, and age groups who follow the same routine every day. So now, why does this problem arise? Why can't we not really use well and board and groundwater? We've, uh, we've learned about the typical water cycle in our schools, which consists of evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. But this is not the real water cycle. Much more happens deep in, in the ground, in the surface of the earth. What really happens is, because of the trees, trees and grasslands that are planted, the soil has a property of aeration. The water can seep into the soil and this property is known as percolation. Water gets percolated because of the roots. So when the water gets percolated, it reaches the aquifers in the, water, in the soil. And these aquifers are used for boards and wells and the underground water that we use for our daily uses. Now what happens when these forests are deforested and all the grasslands are removed? A positive feedback, mecha feedback mechanism is uh, created. When, all the, when uh, the deforestation occurs, the a compaction unit is formed due to the rainfall and the water cannot seep in. This causes drought in the land and the uh, water runs off into the streams which causes floods in the streams. And this is how water affects climate as well, because of the drought and the uh, floods. Now, because uh, the deforestation has occurred, carbon is released into the air, which causes and the gases of carbon, that are carbon dioxide, methane, and the water vapors that get evaporated, cause the greenhouse effect. This greenhouse effect leads to global warming and melting of glaciers and ice caps. Now this water crisis and the climate change also form a feedback mechanism and this is a loop. A loop cannot be stopped but yes, it can be reversed. A bit Montreal protocol hua tha, in which uh, is the purpose tha to, uh, to uh, recreate the ozone hole that is being depleted. The HFCs that are hydrofluorocarbons were used instead of chlorofluorocarbons so that the ozone, ozone hole is not affected more. But these HFCs were a more potent greenhouse gas and hence refrigerants like ammonia and propene were used. If we continue like this, we can stop global warming by 1% in the coming decade. Now what can we do on our part? The first and the most important thing is to minimize the usage of plastic as much as possible. We need to separate biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste and we can form compost fits of the biodegradable waste. This also helps land because it gets more fertile. And in the end, I'd like to uh, end this on a happy note that is we, the future is good and it's in, in good hands because several rallies like Rally for Rivers, Sewage Treatment Plans, the uh, Sustainable Development Goals have been created which must be reached by uh, 2030. 
and uh, several movements like safe soil movement. And even in our Jammu, Climate Front Jammu, which cleans river uh, Tavi and uh, various other pro uh, forests are protected by it, is being created. And hence, we can say that yes, the future is bright, but we uh, really need to work upon it. Thank you. In the cyclic process, uh, we all know that um, a water is a liquid. Liquid from the oceans, it, it is uh, formed in gases. Gases say it, uh, it, it, it accumulates in the clouds and after that precipitation takes place. So uh, precipitation is in liquid form. So this is how it is converted and created. So uh, global warming has a major impact on uh, the uh, water cycle and this has adverse effects on the living species. Uh, for instance, uh, the temperature of the earth is rising. Uh, the temperature is rising, then uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, there would be uh, glacier, uh, the glaciers would be uh, the glacier starts melting. Melting ki wajah se floods hongi. Ab the next is the it also affects the animal population uh, in the uh, water bodies. Uh, floods would be there and uh, there would be uh, ecological imbalance. Uh, poor uh, poor uh, imbalance would be there. Uh, so, uh, so the next topic is the impact of water quality on the ecosystem. So the impact of uh, uh, the impact of quality of water uh, is uh, declining and as it is declining the dissolved oxygen is also declining which is creating debris in the water body. So these debris pollute the water. Uh, after the pollution uh, um, it, is, uh, it becomes harmful for us to intake that water and it, it is not even fit for domestic purposes. Water pollution, uh, major water pollutants are industrial waste, domestic sewage, agricultural waste and even thermal waste. Up to thermal pollution, it has a diverse effects uh, and even adverse effects. So, uh, in short, uh, the uh, thermal pollution it causes uh, uh, the algae, be it algae, be it bacteria, be it um, multi multi celled animals or plants in the aquatic system. They all get affected by it and they respond uh, to the uh, temperature changes in a particular manner. So, after this. The impact of climate change on water. Temperature changes of the after the ocean currents. So ocean currents drive the atmospheric circulation, uh, uh, atmospheric circulation pattern. So when the atmospheric circulation pattern changes, the weather also changes. So weather pattern changes all over the world. Uh, Richard Sager from Columbia's East um, Observatory, he founded out that uh, the weather has. Uh, the weather creates a uh, variability in the uh, rainfall and thus uh, it, uh, it becomes less predictable. So now let's move to the solutions. So there, uh, there are many solutions that, that we can do. So we can, uh, as, um, as a society, we can uh, implant the uh, uh, water harvesting systems. So uh, water harvesting systems are uh, very helpful in conserving the water. We can use less buckets. We can use less pipes and more buckets uh, uh, because uh, it makes efficient use of water uh, for bathing, for um, car washing, etc. So, solar power projects and wind uh, uh, wind projects should be uh, implant uh, should be adopted as uh, they uh, uh, they are less water effect uh, they are less water effective. So, um, we should not use the traditional methods. Thank you so much for this idea. Water life as we know would not exist. It's like no water, no life. All living beings, from, from plants, animals, birds, human beings, all need water. Water is life, matter, matrix, and medium. We need water for domestic uses, for washing purposes, in agriculture, in industries, and many daily activities. We know that our Earth's surface contains 71% of water, but only 0.5% of this water is available fresh water. Fresh water is a finite and limited source on the Earth. Now let's see how our atmosphere maintains balance of water. We all read about water cycle and we all know that 
sun energy of the sun, sun that is heating effect of sun is the driving force behind this water cycle and human activities heats over earth's surface which ultimately imbalance the water cycle human activities such as rapid industrialization overpopulation deforestation heats over earth and ultimately leads to climate change since 1800 climate is changing rapidly the last 7 years have been the warmest on the record and according to nasa 2016 was the hottest year on record climate change impacts the water cycle by influencing when where and how much precipitation falls it leads to flood and heavy rainfall melting of glaciers and ice caps rising of sea level drought algal bloom and many other man made disasters a german climate research institute has found that with every degree rise in temperature monsoon rainfall over india will likely to be increased by 5% Just like this, sea level is 10 to 20 centimeter higher than it was a year ago. Sea level will likely to rise up one meter if climate change is not controlled. The variability and unpredictability of precipitation is increasing, which indirectly leads to quality and which indirectly impacts the quality and the quantity of the water available to living beings. Humans are facing the problems from climate change today, but few humans are also the one who are causing the conflicts in the environment. So stop destroying the environment and make peace with the nature. Thank you. At risk of death and disease, and what will be the consequences of climate change? If we do not reduce greenhouse gas emission to average temperature uh, may rise by 4.4 Celsius by end of 21st century, there is two two degrees Celsius rise in the temperature. 189 million people additional people will be in the grip of hunger. This is how different shades of climate change may look like. One how how a perfect uh, climate can look like, how drought can look like, and how adverse. effect of water can put us in a uh, problems if we don't have proper climate in our environment climate change manifests itself primarily through change in water cycle as climate changes drought floods melting glaciers sea le sea level rises and storm intensify or alter often with severe consequences climate change impacts have direct consequences for water security and conflicts In order to achieve the sustainable development goals climate change adoption will have to build climate resilience climate resilience is strengthened to healthy ecosystem services that rely on well functioning river basins effective country driven climate change adoption should reflect the importance of water management in reducing vulnerability and building climate resilience This is global water stress hotspot. This is shown as the whole world is of acute water crisis, and India lies in South Asia part of the continent. And you can see that uh, India is having acute crisis of water. And if we don't save water right now, we will have vulnerable condition in future. And this and this is how our future will look like if we don't preserve water right now. We just listen and we just go outside. But if we consider this, this is how our future is going to look like if we don't preserve water and don't pay attention to climate change. Now, what is the issue? Water and weather, the delicate balance between evaporation and precipitation, is the primary cycle through which climate change is felt. As our climate changes. drought flood melting glacier sea level rise and storm intensify or alter often with severe consequences only 3% of the planet's water is fresh water and of two third of captured in glaciers and polar ice in the current climate predictions safeguarding the wo water we have in supplies we need for a global population set to reach 10 billion by 2050 will be a challenging task what can be done natural based solutions such as mangrove protecting shorelines from storm climate resilience can be strengthened through healthy ecosystem service that rely on well functioning river basins violence that exists in human heart is also manifest in the symptom of illness that we see in the earth the water the air and the living things and we don't have planet b we just have planet that is earth so it is our moral duty to consider this planet as the only home 
and the only planet where living organism can survive so there is no planet b it is our moral duty that we have to preserve water we have to take care of our climate if we don't look after all these things then we are totally going to be in pain in future this is how this is how a climate change can affect if we don't ha don't have proper climate thank you and have a nice day ahead and 3% is of fresh water now what is the link between water and the climate large bodies of water such as ocean sea large lakes affect the water's climate climate is influenced by the storage of heat and carbon dioxide in the water bodies which depends on both physical and biological process the key to understand the global climatic change is linked with the change in the hydrological cycle because of the increase in the earth's temperature Do you all know that Earth's average temperature is rising? It's rise eight degrees Celsius uh, as compared to the last uh, ice age. Uh, this is because of the global warming. Global warming is defined as an increase in the Earth's average temperature. The greenhouse effect is a natural process that warms the Earth's surface, but due to the increase in the concentration. of the greenhouse gases there is increase in the earth's temperature the planet's average temperature has been rise about 0.85 degrees celsius since the last uh, 19 since the last 19th century but just 1 degree celsius the question comes to your mind that uh, that, uh, that 1 degree celsius is just a small it seems to be so small so why global warming is such a big problem to answer this question let us compare earth with the our body what will happen if our body's temperature got increased by few degrees celsius the result will be we will fall ill similarly if the earth's body temperature got increased by few degrees celsius the result will be climate change climate change refer to a long term shift in the temperature and weather pattern but since 1800 human activities has been the main driver of the climatic change because of the climate change the global sea level is rising the global sea level uh, mean sea level has risen about 8 to 9 inches in 2020 2020 global mean sea level was 91.3 mm in some ocean basins sea level has risen as much as 6 to 8 inches you can see from the slide that how the global sea level is rising rapidly The various effects of climate change are ocean acidification, drought, flood, change in the rainfall patterns. At last, climate change is already an urgent threat to the millions of lives. If we are the problem, then we are the solution also. In order to stop the global climatic change, we have to invest in renewable resources, switch to the sustainable transport, protect forests, protect ocean, and reduce the use of plastic. Thank you. water ke liye and conflict in order to achieve the sustainable development goal climate change adaptation will have to build climate resilience is slide mein aap dekh sakte hain ki kaise jo oceans hai evaporate kar rahi hain then condensation form ho raha hai waterfall ho raha hai jo water storage and ice and snow form mein wo melt ho raha hai and jo infiltration ho rahi hai soil ki जो क्लाइमेट चेंज है इसका जो डायरेक्ट इफेक्ट पड़ता है वो है सूखा जो ड्रॉट पड़ रहा है हमारे जो वेदर में चेंजिंग आ रही है हमारे एग्रीकल्चर पे इफेक्ट पड़ रहा है देख सकते हैं सी लेवल राइज हो रहा है सूखा पड़ रहा है डिफरेंट डिफरेंट क्लाइमेट्स आ रहे हैं फ्लड्स आ रहे हैं जो पोलर आइस है वो मेल्ट हो रही है क्लाइमेट रिजिलेंस का स्ट्रेंथ थ्रू हेल्थी इकोसिस्टम सर्विसेज दैट रिले ऑन वेल फंक्शनिंग रिवर बेसन सबसे पहले हम इसमें क्या करने की जो रिवर बेसन है वो परफेक्ट करने हैं इफेक्टिव कंट्री ड्राइवर क्लाइमेट चेंज अडेप्टेशन शुड रिफ्लेक्ट द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ वाटर मैनेजमेंट इन रिड्यूसिंग वर्ल्ड एनिविटी एंड बिल्डिंग क्लाइमेट रिजिलेंस वाटर एंड वेदर द डेलीकेट बैलेंस बिटवीन इवेपोरेशन एंड प्रसिपिटेशन इज द प्राइमरी साइकिल थ्रू विच क्लाइमेट चेंज इज फेल्ट हमें कैसे पता चलता है कि जो क्लाइमेट चेंज है वो हो रहा है जैसे देखिए इन द स्लाइड the greenhouse gas effect aerosols 
So these are the basic components of the climate system. That is the atmosphere, ocean, stratosphere, land, and its biomass and human interaction. We all know hydrological cycle. Now we need to compile it together that how it works. Basically we all have studied the water cycle. No need to explain it in detail. But it is simply a process in which the water from the land, ocean surface go, go to the atmosphere and come back in the form of precipitation. So the three major signals of climate change hydrological implication are increasing temperature which automatically affects the evapotranspiration, water quality, change in the precipitation patterns which led to intensity and magnitude of floods and droughts, rise in the sea level which affects the salinity intrusion. This is the global 21st climate change scenario. The first two depicts the CO2 emission, the third depicts the SO2 emission, the fourth one depicts the temperature fluctuation and the sea level fluctuations. Impact of climate on water. People think that the climate change is basically a change in the temperature, but it is not so. Rising of the temperature is simply the beginning of the story.